Hello, and thank you for choosing the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics for your total joint replacement. We look forward to working with you and providing the expertise you expect and the care you deserve so that you can make a smooth recovery and get back to the life you enjoy. Here at Iowa, we care for a variety of patients and we treat all kinds of cases. We do research, which helps inform the care we provide, and we have the latest technologies available as well, such as robotic surgery. But most important, we're here for you and your loved ones. Our goal is to help you, and we do this by putting you at the center of every decision. I'm a nurse clinician for the Total Joint Replacement Program. I work with patients and families planning for a total joint replacement. From the first moment of meeting the doctor through recovery at home, we'll help you by providing information, answering questions, so that you and your family feel informed, comfortable, and confident throughout your joint replacement experience. Whether you are scheduled for your joint replacement, or helping a loved one get ready for an upcoming surgery, or just starting to learn more about the joint replacement process, you're in the right place. We are here to help you along the way. As a patient, total joint replacement involves several steps, and our focus is getting you ready for surgery, knowing what to expect from your surgery and hospital stay, and preparing you for recovery at home. We love our checklists to keep us on track, so let's get started with your first set of decisions. First, we encourage you to sign up for my chart, which is your online connection to your medical information and medical team. With my chart, you can electronically connect with us, see your test results, and after visit summaries, and even request medication refills. It's an easy way for you to send us your questions or concern, and it's a great way for us to send you tips, appointment reminders, and other important information. Next, choosing a coach is an important key to a successful joint replacement. You may ask, what does a coach do? A coach is someone who will be your second set of eyes and ears. Someone who will be staying with you after you leave the hospital to help you with items at home, help you get to your appointments. Please note that your coach will not be expected to lift or carry you. Their job is to help direct, instruct, or remind you about what needs to be done. One thing to think about, it's always good to have a backup person in mind, just in case your coach becomes unavailable. It may seem strange, but planning for your discharge from the hospital is actually one of the first decisions you will make with your care team. There have been a lot of advances in total joint replacement surgery, and many patients are going home the same day as their surgery. We follow the same checklists to discharge if you leave the same day or if you stay overnight. So the biggest difference and benefit is that you have surgery earlier in the day and you get to sleep in your own bed at night. Our patients who leave the same day often recover more quickly as they are also up and moving around, which helps with their recovery. The care team will discuss if same day discharge is an option for you. Please know that you may need to make some temporary changes to your home to make it ready for your recovery, especially in your bedroom, your bathroom, and your kitchen. Here are some common tips. Remove all throw rugs, cords, and clutter from the floor and stairs. Arrange furniture so there are clear walking pathways. You may need to create a temporary living space on the same floor as a bathroom. Plan where you will spend most of your time and have extra pillows, your phone, and frequently used items within reach. Think about having a pet stay with a loved one for a few days, and think about making meals ahead of time so they're ready when you need them. For those of you having a knee replaced, this is also a great time to plan for physical therapy. Make sure to schedule this before your surgery and make a plan for a driver to help take you to appointments, as well as a backup person in case your coach becomes unavailable. Also, it is important to eat healthy and continue to be active leading up to your surgery. If you can, walking daily is an excellent exercise. Performing exercises to strengthen your legs and upper body will improve your strength and improve recovery following surgery. Also, in the weeks leading up to surgery, be careful to avoid any falls and anything that could lead to canceling your surgery. This can include pet scratches or getting sick. Being your healthiest self gives you the best chance for a smooth recovery. Now you're at the point where it all happens. The next steps include pre-surgical appointments, obtaining medical and dental clearances, and updating the team with your current medications, including over-the-counter vitamins. Our care team will give you instructions such as when to stop eating and drinking, pre-op shower, where to go on the day of surgery, and what to bring or not to bring to the hospital. When you arrive at the hospital, things will really start rolling. Your orthopedic team, anesthesia team, and admitting staff will all meet with you before surgery. 
Your coach or family member will stay with you until you go into the operating room. Surgery and recovery in the post-anesthesia unit will take several hours, but your care team will keep your family or coach informed along the way. Soon after recovery, you will be working with physical therapy. Our therapy team will help you pass your goals, such as sitting, standing, walking, and even climbing stairs before going home. In addition to physical therapy, the care team will work with you on good pain control. You will have pain, but the goal is to keep it at a tolerable level to help you with your rehabilitation and healing. We use a multi-step approach to pain relief, which includes medication, ice packs, or a cooling machine, and elevation. Now you are ready for your recovery at home. A few common questions we hear after people go home are how to prevent complications and how to care for the incision. For this we say, keep it clean and dry and keep it moving. Before you leave the hospital, we will give you instructions on how to care for your incision. Also, our therapy team will provide tips on home exercises. Having a regular exercise routine and having a way to get to physical therapy is very important. And of course, we are here to answer questions, and our nurse clinicians will be checking in on you after you go home. In addition to helping you prepare for your life after joint replacement, the care team will provide information on when you are safe to return to your regular activities, return to work, and suggestions such as staying active as you can be. There will also be some small but permanent changes, such as making sure you have a card with you when traveling. Most important, we hope that you will find a remarkable improvement in your ability to enjoy life by getting back to the things you love.